The Bagram military base built by the Americans has been left abandoned. The notorious detention center is locally referred to as Afghanistan's Guantanamo. Those who were held there feared they would never leave and many who did leave have never been the same since. Our correspondent Anas Malik traveled to this abandoned airbase to give us a sense of what is left behind. Bagram Airfield was the heart of American military power. It is akin to a sprawling mini-city in itself. The command and control center from where the Americans controlled their military operations across Afghanistan. Constructed by the Soviets in the 1950s and taken over by the US when they arrived in 2001. This place used to be the biggest operational U.S. base against the Taliban. This also, at one point of time, used to house more than 1,000 U.S. troops uh, in Afghanistan. This very place is now under the control of the Taliban. The radar that you see behind me, the staircase uh, and this very parking sign, it is the place where jets used to be parked. But this now wears a deserted look and the Taliban are in charge. Taliban control who goes in and who comes out. The Bagram Air Base is now a ghost town. No jets, no cars, no traffic. The staircases and parking areas for planes, hangars, fighter jets and helicopters all remain empty now. But Weon found one Black Hawk helicopter parked at a hangar nearby. It belongs to the Afghan army, but it is not in operational condition. Uh, this is a Black Hawk helicopter which has been damaged to the point of beyond repair. You can see uh, the door, uh, it's completely damaged, it's been ripped off. The internal mechanics, if my camera person in the heart can follow me as well, uh, if my, uh, the internal mechanics have been ripped off as well uh, to the point that nobody can use it. Uh, there's a Talib who's there uh, seemingly trying to enjoy his time uh, while sitting in the pilot seat. Uh, this used to be for the, for the fact that uh, the gun used to be mounted over here and then when the helicopter used to be airborne, uh, then it used to give them protection. The Taliban are now in charge of this empty airbase. They stand guard with weapons and RPGs. After defeating the Taliban, the American army divided the huge airbase into two parts and built a detention facility inside the unused hangars. This Bagram prison was intended to be a temporary detention facility. But it soon became a prison, a notorious and terrifying one. Soon it was referred to as Afghanistan's Guantanamo. Housing thousands of Taliban prisoners, terrorists, terror accused, and even Afghan citizens. Both the Americans and their Afghan partners remained particularly sensitive about outside eyes seeing the facility from inside. Twenty years on, the prison stands empty. With equipment, protective gear, containers, documents and passports lying abandoned. These are the numbers through which the inmates were identified. This number had all the details against it of the inmate. Even for the meetings, we were called and identified as per our number. The prison was divided into units too. The more notorious and dreaded ones were taken to the Fox Block, into a specific unit called the American Show. This facility resembled the American jails from movies. In this block, this is known as the American show. This was a block which was 1.8 meter by 1.8 meter long. And prisoners were kept here in solitary confinement. After the Taliban takeover, some of the former detainees escaped in a jailbreak. They alleged that the Americans did not let them sleep or rest. And they would often bang on the roof of the cells to keep the prisoners awake. These square-shaped cells were used for solitary confinement. They have little to no amenities. These concrete walls of 1.8 by 1.8 meters 
is what used to have a prayer mat, a toilet seat with wash basin over it, and a mat where one could lie down. Prisoners were not allowed to sleep. These doors here were used to, uh, these windows in these doors were used to uncuff uh, the handcuffs on a prisoner or serve food or give headphones. A little ahead in the same block, we found plenty of clothes. Taliban members reenact to show to us what went on here. Like this, a black cloth was put on our face so that we weren't able to see anything. Headphones were put on our ears so we weren't able to hear anything. And this was to prevent us from interacting with other inmates. These clothes you see, they were changed after three or four months and we were allowed to wash these. The Bagram prison and its vicinity has long been shrouded in secrecy. It had the capacity to house 7,000 inmates and held over 5,000 till the Taliban took over. With Anas Malik in Bagram, Bureau Report, Vion, World is One. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.